Okay, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Mitzia on today. We're starting a new parak Shabbos, parak Yatet. Mishnah is Alvin and Bez. Mishnah Alvin discusses a big machlokas between Lezer and Rabbi Akiva. We know that Mila you're allowed to do on Shabbos, even though Mila is a malacha, a chabura. You're allowed to do a chabura on Shabbos, make a wound on Shabbos. Um, for a positive purpose, right? To wound someone for a negative purpose is not a malacha. It's not a positive malacha, but... Um, to wound someone for a positive purpose, right, for the mitzvah of Mila is, is a malach. However, the Torah says, Bayom HaShmini, I feel Bayom HaShabbos. If the eighth day after the birth falls down on Shabbos, Mila Bismano, so then you do it on Shabbos. And even though you violate Shabbos. Now, the question is, when you're doing the Mila on Shabbos, is the pshat, there's three ways of looking at these types of halachas, like, like you know, cooking on Yom Tov and things like that. Normally, it's Asr do malach on Yom Tov, but you're allowed to cook for Ochal Nefer. So do we say dechuya? Dechuya I'm going to define as basically when the mitzvah or the allowance is docha the iser, meaning you're still doing an iser. The Torah is, you know, like yibum or something like that. Um, um, but makom, you know, um, you know, a yibum, what, what, what is the case of yibum? Eish hasach, right? Eish hasach, right? You're not, there's an iser in the Torah, you can't marry your brother's wife. However, if your brother has no children, Right, and he dies, so then you're allowed to marry your brother's wife because the mitzvah yibum even pushes away Zach. I mentioned over there, I I believe in Zach's yibum and Nivamos that the Isra of Zach is not it's not mocked the Isra of Zach. It just pushes it away, meaning you're doing the Isra of Zach, which is normally high of courage. But the Torah says, don't worry, it's better to do the mitzvah yibum. Yibum is preferable than not doing anything. Yibum is preferable, even though you're doing the Isra, it's preferable. It's a hard concept to understand. But maybe that's the shot over here. My Mila, you're still doing a, a, a Malacha Shabbos over here. But the Torah says Mila is more important, right? It's a matter of precedence, right? Decision making is hard. A lot of times you make decisions, right? You, it's not always black and white that one thing is right and another thing is wrong. Sometimes they're both good options, but one's better than the other, right? So <clears throat> the least of two evils. So that's what you're supposed to be doing over here. The best option is to do the Mila. Or is the shot Hutra that. The Torah is matir doing malacha. There's no isra being done. That's the second way. And I want to introduce a third way, which is called lo nemra, which the rush maybe mentions in one place of Sechaz Beta, where it's not that the malacha, that when I do the mitzvah of milah, through doing the mitzvah of milah, I'm matir, right, the malacha on Shabbos. But only if I did the malacha of milah. Maybe there's no concept of malacha in the realm of milah, or on Yom Tov, there's no concept of malacha when I'm cooking. So, what's the nafkamin in all these three things? So, I would like to explain the machlokas of Lezer and Rabbi Akiva in Mishnah Aleph over here whether machshir and mila are mutter on Shabbos or not. Machshir and mila is to carry the knife to the shul where I'm going to do it and violate hotza. Or if I don't have a mila knife, he talks about cutting wood and making coals and making fashioning iron and then making it into a knife, which is a lot of malachas. It's called machshir and mila. Machshir and mila. Lezer says it's mutter on, on Shabbos. Rabbi Akiva says not. I like to say the Mahlokis is like this, that right? <clears throat> Mila is not, I think, I think the Ron says in one place, Mila is the Huya and Malacha on cooking on, on Yom Tov is Hutra. I don't believe that to be the case. I believe Mila is also Hutra, right? <clears throat> For example, right, when you're doing the Mila, we're gonna, I don't think the Mishnah is talking about it, the Gemara talks about it. There's certain parts called Sitz and Ma'ak, but it's a Mila and Sitz and Sha'e Ma'ak, but it's a Mila. You have to take a certain amount of skin. If you have, you know, little strands of skin left, so it depends, you know, if the sitzin cover most of the top part of the aver, penis, so then you have to take it off. If they're not, they're just, right, they just don't look as good. So if you're engaged in the mila still, right, you're still involved in the mila and the priya, so you're allowed to keep on cutting even the things that are not integral to the kashras of the mila. So from the fact you see that, so you see that it's hutra, because if it's just purely the chuyah, you'd only be allowed to do exactly what's necessary for the mitzvah. But if it's not necessary for the mitzvah, you're doing an iser, so don't do it. But the fact that once you're engaged in the maisa of mila, right, you didn't pull your hand away yet, you can even take off seats and shame of mila. So therefore, mila is hutra, even according to Rabbi Akiva. The question is, is whether it's lo nemra or not. Rabbi Akiva also says it's lo nemra. He says in regard to the whole concept of mila, the Torah relaxed all the restrictions. So therefore, even to carry the knife to the shul or to make a, a mila knife on Shabbos is okay. If it's the eighth day, because lo nemra, the Torah didn't talk about any sort of over here. It's broad, a broad hetter. It's not just a hetter, it's a broad hetter, right? It's machlokas in, in Masechah's Beitzel also. Yehuda says machshire 
Ochel nevesh are mutter. We pass not like Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbanon say machshir ochel nevesh are not right to fashion a knife to shecht your animal on Shabbos. You're not allowed to do the same thing, right? Because we paskin, it's the same thing. Mila and Ochel Nefesh on Yom Tov are the same. They're both Hutra, right? They're both uh, generally Mutra. When you're involved in the Malacha, you have you don't have to be exact. You, can, you don't have to be precise. You can, you know, you, you can do it in a relaxed fashion. However, other things that are not part of the actual Misa of Ochel Nefesh, shechting it or cooking the, or cooking the meat, um, are not allowed. And that's why Rilezer says they are allowed, because he holds this low nemra, the concept of Milan Shabbos is low nemra, the Israel wasn't even applied over here, so even machshirim, anything you have to do to, to, to do the Mila should be okay. And according to Rikiva, it's not low nemra, it's hutra. We'll talk more about it going forward. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.